हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन आई एम अनूप मलिक चीफ प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर उत्तराखंड जायका फॉरेस्ट्री प्रोजेक्ट थ्रू दिस शॉर्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म विल टॉक अबाउट अ टेक्निकल कोऑपरेशन प्रोजेक्ट उत्तराखंड साइंड विद जायका ऑन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स इन द फॉरेस्ट एरियाज इन द स्टेट Since times immemorial people have lived off the natural resources in complete harmony but since some past few decades things have started to change unsustainable use of natural resources the world over and limited capacity of nature to replenish itself is clearly visible leading to changes in the climate this gap is growing with each passing day exacerbating negative impacts of climate change Uncontrolled population growth is also alarming for the limited natural resources and their use balance. Solutions must be found. Blessed with bounties of nature, with a wide variety of flora and fauna, living in the nature's lap, this is lush green, incredible Uttarakhand. This lush green, incredible Uttarakhand is also reeling under the negative impacts of climate change. Here comes Jaika. the Japan International Cooperation Agency established by a specific law as an independent administrative institute under government of Japan JICA works as a bridge between Japan and emerging countries and provides assistance in the form of loan grant and technical cooperation so that the emerging countries can strengthen their capabilities As a part of their bilateral cooperation initiatives, JICA decided to help Uttarakhand find ways for better management of its forest resources through ODA loan assistance. This project uh, basically is a very unique project I would say which has been executed between uh, government of Uttarakhand and government of Japan. It is unique in the sense that uh, it addresses the soil erosion issues of the state. Uh, you may like to recollect 2013 when we had massive landslides massive soil erosion in uttarakhand both uttarakhand and japan have striking similarities both are mountainous states in both uttarakhand and japan more than 70% of the area is under forest then again both uttarakhand and japan are prone to all kinds of natural disasters well let's see that, that japan over the years has faced all kinds of natural disasters and world is witness to the fact that japan has mastered the techniques of management of all kinds of natural disasters uh, the technical cooperation is very innovative effective but also challenging uh, this uh, technical cooperation project is implemented in conjunction with oda loan project and in this technical cooperation project uh, we are doing the uh, on, on the job training in terms of procurement uh, detailed design and the uh, uh, supervision of the uh, construction works loan project was signed in april 2013 and is being implemented in the state by uttarakhand forest resources management society the objective of this jaika loan project uttarakhand forest resources management project is to improve the quality of state's forest resources enhancing biodiversity including livelihood development of people living in forest fringe areas of the state while modalities of the jaika project was still being worked out unfortunate flood disaster of june 2013 happened in uttarakhand causing unprecedented floods and landslides affecting 4200 villages and leaving scores of people dead or missing It also caused humongous loss to forest landscapes within which these thousands of villages were situated. This disaster altered the very thought process of Uttarakhand Forest Department. Now urgency was to also look into ways and means to mitigate the effects of this flood disaster in forest areas and find out methodical ways to fight natural disasters as a part of better preparedness strategy for future. 
all kinds of natural disasters in Himalayan states like Uttarakhand result into landslides, which has become a perennial problem in the state. It not only hampers economic growth, but is equally detrimental to the health of forest landscapes. After detailed deliberations, eventually, a component on mitigation of natural disasters was incorporated in the JICA loan project, which included works related to reconstruction of damaged hill slopes as a result of flood disaster. Finally, JICA forestry project, which is a loan project, has four components primarily focusing on eco-restoration for rehabilitation of degraded forest, plantations, biodiversity and wildlife management and other eco-restoration activities etc. Livelihood improvement and community development for community mobilization and micro-planning, enterprise development and livelihood improvements, community-based ecotourism etc. Disaster mitigation in forest areas to take care of disaster effects in forest areas. Other support activities, which includes capacity building for executive agencies, village level institutions, applied research and publicity, including monitoring and evaluation, etc. Now the question arose how to implement this component related to reconstruction of landslide areas, which was purely an engineering component. Mindset of the Forest Department was clear that how to bring in Japanese technology for erosion control works as Japan over the years has mastered the techniques on management of sediment disasters, but Japan is a country which has the best technologies in the world to meet the disaster-related challenges. Ultimately, JICA was approached for implementing the component on disaster mitigation too. So it was quite natural for us to approach Japan to sign a technical cooperation project with Uttarakhand on management of natural disasters in forest areas in the state. After the flood disaster of 2013 in Uttarakhand, we came to know that Uttarakhand lacked in many areas in management of natural disasters in the state. All kinds of natural disasters, they result in landslides, whether it is earthquake or floods or anything else, all result in landslides. And Japan has mastered the techniques on soil erosion, sediment disasters and reconstruction of damaged hill slopes. After many rounds of discussions, Uttarakhand Forest Department gave them a new proposal, requesting them for a technical collaboration to help the state build its capacity as a part of future preparedness strategy and also help the loan project in implementing a component which has mainly engineering inputs and is beyond the capacity of Forest Department to execute it. Japan decided to take all financial burden on themselves while helping Uttarakhand learn disaster mitigation. Finally, Uttarakhand and JICA signed a technical cooperation project. It was signed in July 2016, called the Technical Cooperation Project for Management of Natural Disasters in Forest Areas of the State, with twin objectives. Number one, execution of the component of the loan project on reconstruction of damaged hill slopes with the help of experts and engineers from Japan. It includes construction of three model sites and other candidate sites as per budget availability in the loan project. Number two, capacity building of Uttarakhand state in general and forest department in particular as a part of future preparedness to fight all kinds of natural disasters and knowledge dissemination to other Himalayan states. Japan has uh, rich experiences and technologies about the preventive measures and technologies. And so, oh, JICA uh, is really enthusiastic to share our knowledge and know-how with Uttarakhand friends. And uh, JICA experts uh, stationed in Dehradun are providing with many useful te technical advices uh, with Uttarakhand friends at no cost. Knowledge and facilities uh, supported by JICA uh, would be shared with other Himalayan states. Thus, uh, JICA's cooperation will contribute to many other states uh, all over India. And uh, JICA uh, is really enthusiastic to continue our cooper utmost cooperation uh, with Japanese best technology and know-how uh, for Indian friends, safety and prosperity. Japan offers two kinds of bilateral cooperations. One is in the form of loans and the other is in the form of 
technical cooperation projects. Uttarakhand is lucky to have signed both the type of bilateral cooperations with JICA. We signed a ODA loan project in the year 2013, which deals with management of forests and livelihood development in the state. The second project relates to technical cooperation project in the field of management of natural disasters. This is the first project in the history of JICA assisted forestry projects in the state, in the country rather, that we have both type of cooperations with JICA. This TCP, Technical Cooperation Project, is being implemented with the help of Japanese experts and in close coordination with Uttarakhand Forest Resource Management Project. This is the first time in the history of JICA assisted projects that there is an integration of a loan project with a technical cooperation project. Japan being uh, one of the pioneers as far as the soil erosion box is concerned, uh, it's uh, in the fitness of things that uh, we have uh, really, you know, roped in that country, which is one of the best in the world. They are here to tell us, to teach us, to demonstrate us how we go about stabilizing our land, basically the soil erosion. And uh, I think that uh, since uh, their engineers are on the sites, they are developing three model sites uh, as demonstrations. And there's a lot of learning which is being given to our people. So that is the strongest uh, component of this project. The project started with the arrival of long-term experts to Dehradun in April 2017. Short-term experts arrived in July. Mr. Kitaura and Ms. Mia Jima, long-term experts. Mr. Yoko, Mr. Hara, short-term experts. The TC project is focusing on developing technologies for erosion control works, which are to be adapted in the state, including development of technical handbooks or manuals and establishment of model sites on erosion control. Now under TC project, three sites have been zeroed in, which are called model sites. These sites have been selected so that there is use of different technologies on erosion control and the sites are also so located to have maximum demonstration effect. Through these model sites, Uttarakhand Forest Resource Management Project would showcase the Japanese technologies employed for erosion control works in Japan so that whole state can see, learn and emulate them. The three sites are Nirgar, near Rishikesh, which is in Narendra Nagar Forest Division. The Nilgar area of uh, Uttarakhand is highly affected from the landslides due to rainy season and uh, I must advise and request uh, Forest Department of the state to look into this matter and take an initiative and should take an multinational and international experts advice for the same so that tourists who are coming from pan world should not face any sort of issue after coming in this state they should be feeling some something welcoming Atiti Devo Bhava they should feel if they come in this state I see this project as a very big opportunity not only for Uttarakhand but for the entire country to get exposure to Japanese expertise and technology for slow protection to prevent natural disasters in the future the Uttarakhand Forest Department is taking very keen interest in the implementation of the project and has appointed its own team of engineers who shall receive on-the-job training from the Japanese experts and shall serve as a resource pool for the state to undertake advanced low protection works in the state even after the project is closed. Second one is in Rudraprayag Forest Division called Javari on the banks of River Alaknanda and third one is here in Padli in District Nainital. The design and construction of these three sites is directly monitored by Japanese experts. During rainy season, the area which is located near Kanchi Dham, it is engulfed or engraved by landslides. And during this season, most of the time this road remains closed, due to which the tourists they face problems. And the main problem is that we have to divert the traffic towards Dhana Chuli Bank and it takes around two hours more than usual time. Japan International Cooperation Agency, which is doing work there, if they uh, solve this problem, so it will be helpful to the police also because then we have to put less men there and the traffic inflow will be easier and then it will take less time to reach to uh, Haldwani rather than taking two more hours. Here at Nirgar in Narendra Nagar, things are at quite advanced stages. The slope failure at Nirgar is mainly because of uncontrolled debris and water flow. 
treatment of the site includes reducing the gradient of the stream by constructing steel frame, check dams, gabion slopes, channel works for guiding water flow, wicker fence and hydro seeding. Second side at Javri is a case of slope failure resulting into a landslide. This slope failure is also threatening the office building of DFO Rudraprayag. The interventions are basically aimed at stabilizing the rock by way of fixing the slope using steel bowls and anchors combined with simple concrete retaining walls and earth filling. Padli, situated in Nainital district, is the toughest of the three sites because of steep gradient, 50 degree. This site is also a case of slope failure resulting into a landslide mainly because of steep slope. The main task at hand is to prevent soil and rock from falling down by using a combination of crib work, retaining wall, rock net and geomat including plantation of suitable species to stabilize the slope. Indeed, the slope disaster mitigation component of UFRMP and the TC project is designed to develop capacity of UKFD for sediment disaster mitigation so that the people of Uttarakhand will be able to prepare themselves in a better way against landslide disaster in future. To build the capacity of the forest department and other stakeholders, Technical Cooperation Project has so far organized two training programs in Japan. One was the visit of a senior level delegation headed by Honorable Forest Minister Uttarakhand, Dr. Harak Singh Rawat to have first-hand exposure of erosion control works in Japan. Second visit included a team officers, which was headed by Mr. Jairaj, Principal Chief Conservators of Forests, Uttarakhand. The team included officers from Forest Department, PWD, and Disaster Management, and the team of engineers contracted by Technical Cooperation Project. The Forest Department will learn the techniques locally also while the construction at the model sites is in progress. Japanese experts will share on-site knowledge with their Indian counterparts. There would be various sessions also to evaluate the level of understanding acquired by Indian side during project implementation phase. Our people are being, you know, technically trained to handle such issues in future. So I think that uh, this is a wonderful initiative. Uh, I would like to compliment uh, Japanese government on this and of course the Uttarakhand government as well and uh, I am quite confident that by the end of this project our people will be in a position to handle uh, soil erosion works, the landslides and other related issues which are so much common in Uttarakhand on their own. So this is uh, I think is going to be the outcome and I wish all success and all the best to this project. Further. When it comes to disaster mitigation, even at national level, there are no standard operating procedures to meet the challenges of landslide management and reconstruction. Good thing about this technical cooperation project is that the knowledge acquired and various findings will also be shared with other Himalayan states also in the country, which makes this whole venture extremely beneficial for the entire country. While work is progressing as planned, Looking at it, one can hope that the project will achieve all intended objectives. Thanks to JICA for helping Uttarakhand Forest Department. Long live Indo-Japanese friendship.